Hello, welcome back to another video. I was on call yesterday, I'm a flight attendant, and I was on call from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And at 8.30, I got a trip, and it was a four-day trip, which I have not flown a four-day in so long, out of Santa Ana, which I usually fly out of LA. I'm based in LA, but we have to cover three different airports sometimes. And so I got a trip out of Santa Ana, but that's okay. I'm here now. Today is day two. I have an amazing crew. It was supposed to be a short Seattle layover, but I woke up and usually the first thing I do when I wake up is like text my husband good morning, but then check my schedule because stuff happens and changes all the time. And so I check and lo and behold my flight today was canceled so random we were talking about it last night because taylor swift is here and i was like maybe we'll cancel and i can go but unfortunately we leave at like 10 o'clock tonight so i can't even go to taylor swift but for the four day trip i only had one kind of longer layover um at the end my last day is going to be in nashville and i had like a little bit of time so i kind of packed a little bit of a cuter outfit but not really because i was just gonna probably go get coffee and go to the grocery store so now i have a long layover today and i now have a long layover tomorrow and i have no clothes i got a little note this morning it says layover extended you now need the eight o'clock shuttle update your key at desk that was really nice they usually never do stuff like that so yeah i'm here all day today i was supposed to leave at 12 to go to the airport it's 10 30. i got ready and i was like you know what i am gonna go get into the city and in my pj shirt <laughs> um i was like i don't want to wear a gym workout outfit because that's literally all i packed uh, but yeah, me and my little PJ shirt are gonna go into Seattle. There's a bookstore I want to go to I'm gonna get coffee and I'm just gonna honestly see where the day takes me I have no plans, but I do have to be back here at like five or six um, I don't know if I'm gonna spend that long out there, but it takes a decent amount of time to get out there by train <sighs> All that to say welcome back to another vlog. Let's get going and get in to Seattle and have some fun First things first, I literally have to eat. I'm so hungry. I got food from this place called Dozone. I got dandan noodles. And then I got sweet and sour cucumber. I'm very, very excited to eat both of these. And then also to go along with the meal, I got Pogue juice. I've never had it. It's very popular in Hawaii. A flight attendant told me about it, but I just, I've been wanting to try it ever since he told me. So they call it Pogue juice. It's guava juice blended with passion fruit and orange juice. Very excited about this. Let's try it. Cheers. That's really good. And then as a dessert, I got Hello Panda. My dandy noodles. Whoa, I just scarfed 
down that food. I was so hungry. I want to show you what else I got today. Nothing crazy. I went to one of my favorite bookstores. I feel like this probably is one of my top, like it's definitely in the top three, my favorite bookstores. I love this bookstore so much. I went to Elliott Bay and I got a book that I'm very, very excited about. I don't know what it is. I am very hyper fixated on specific things. The two that I'm thinking of my off the top of my head, one of them has to do with this book. But the first one is like mini things, like mini anything. I am obsessed with it. I want it. I wish I was rich enough to have a room just of mini stuff. One day I'm gonna have a little tiny nook and it's gonna be a bunch of random mini things and that's gonna make me so happy. Anybody else? Do you have like a weird fixation with like miniature things? That's number one. And number two is flowers. Like, but like working at a flower shop, <laughs> especially in books. I don't know what it is, but that like, it's not really a trope, but that specific thing in a book. Oh my God, wait, my nails match like perfectly with this book. Hi, sorry, ADHD. Um, somebody working at a flower shop in a show and a book is, it itches some kind of soul itch in myself. I am obsessed with it. I love it so much. And all that to say, I have heard a lot about this book. I'm very excited that I now own it. I've been really, really wanting to read it, but it is about a wedding planner and the guy is a florist or owns his own flower shop. His name is Elliot Bloom. I'm dying. He's a florist who hates owning a flower shop. Hey, he has a lot of flower tattoos. Um, I'm very excited about this book. And then last but not least, I have been on the hunt for new Smiskies. Um, they just came out. If you don't know anything about these, I am obsessed with them. They are box toys. So they're um, like every series has different figurines in them and it's a surprise. You don't know which one you're gonna get until you open it. But they just came out with this series uh, this month and I have not been able to find them anywhere. And I was like, you know what? On the way back to the hotel, let me stop and see if they had them. And lo and behold, they had them. I was so excited so i got one for me and my best friend and i'm gonna open one right now okay i think i'm gonna go with this one i'm gonna open it with you i really want the one doing a sit up a crunch that is literally so cute or the one stretching i also want to be mad about the hula hoop <gasps> wait i think i got one i wanted wait <laughs> i'm gonna cry tell me that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life what a successful little day here in Seattle. I, it's 4.14. My shuttle is not for another four hours. Anyways, I am gonna go let my food settle, watch summer turn pretty, and I think maybe go do a little run on the treadmill. Thanks for hanging out with me on this Sunday. I will see you a little bit later or whenever I see ya. I've had better moments in my life. This is a first for me, I will say. I've never gotten McDonald's delivered, <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes duty calls Coke Zero, cold fries at this rate on them, a double cheeseburger. <laughs> it's Monday. I got into Miami this morning from the red eye at about eight o'clock, 8.30. I immediately went to bed until about two o'clock. I wanted to keep sleeping, but I didn't want to mess my sleep schedule up. Uh, so I just woke up and um, then my period decided to greet me. So I said, I am postmating McDonald's. And now here we are. I have one flight tonight to Nashville. I did not sleep a lick on the red eye flight which I knew that was gonna happen when you're on reserve and on call. This is my fate. So I am gonna eat my double cheeseburger. I'm so excited. I'm probably gonna poop in my pants, um, but it's gonna be so worth it, hopefully. I haven't had a double cheeseburger from McDonald's and I truly could not tell you how long. Like it's been years. I'm usually a McChicken kind of girly, but this just sound right. Cheers. Good morning.
my body is so thrown off. It's Wednesday. I am in Nashville. I feel like I'm like looking at you. <laughs> Hello. It is go home day. I am so excited. This trip has felt like at least six days long. It's felt, this trip has felt so long. So, so, so long. I'm so ready to be home. I'm so ready to not be rotting in a hotel room. I told uh, my crew, I was like, I feel like I've just been sitting in hotel rooms and rotting. I uh, had trouble sleeping last night because my body's all thrown off from being on a red eye flight, but um, I woke up a little bit later. It's 11.30. I don't have a lot of time. My pickup is at four, but I need coffee. And I always go to barista parlor, but I thought, you know what, today I'm gonna try something new. And I was looking on my map, and I'm not like obsessed with any other options, but I did see this one place, they have a dirty chai, and I have not had a dirty chai in so long. I can't even tell you the last time that you see my favorite drink ever in high school, but I was like, I want a dirty chai. So I am gonna go walk, like probably gonna be like 20 minutes, a 20 minute walk. I'm gonna eat really quick, and then we're gonna go walk to coffee and have a cute little morning here in Nashville. It's time to go home. I have two flights today, Nashville, Dallas, then Dallas, Santa Ana. I'm so excited to go home. Uh, I'm just gonna pack up my lunch box and then head downstairs. Do one last look around. I'll see you whenever I get home to LA, which will probably be tomorrow because I get in really late, but let's go fly.